<laughs> How y'all doing? I'm the Watchman, and this right here is a quick video on how you can tell if the translation that you're using is a Luciferian translation. Basically, how can you tell if you got a Satanic Bible or you got God's Holy Bible? You know what I mean? Because, you know, Peter warns us of different translations in the last days. You know, God is so great on how he warns us of certain things before they happen. And there's a little test. And I'm talking about, you'll be surprised how many versions fail this little bitty test. You know what I mean? And I'm about to show you all this quick, simple, simple, quick test. You know what I mean? And from NIV, American Standard test your Bibles now how you can tell if you got a uh, what the what the Lucifer is actually doing what the devil is actually done and they started doing it in the late 1800s was they took the word and they started switching phrases that referred to Christ they put Satan in them and phrases and texts that referred to Satan they put Christ in them and they do it so subliminally that people really don't notice people really don't notice and that's the craze nowadays so many people oh I got this Bible I, well I like it cuz it reads easy it might be an easy reader and you might be holding a satanic Bible and think about it anything that's the devil's he is is a gateway for him. you know I personally believe anything that's his he, he can use as an avenue to get into your life you know what I mean? He can use his avenue to get into your life. And it's, it's definitely true. But if you have a satanic Bible and you don't know it, and think about it. If you're trying to do some studying, some real studying, and real reading, getting down to earth with the Lord, and you have a satanic Bible and you don't know it, you're going to miss out on a lot of key texts that could bring so much more light and understanding to what you're trying to read. Now, here's the easy test. Here's the quick and easy test. What you do is, you got the King James. I got my King James right here. You know me. I tried to, I looked around, and I tried to find the NIV version, but I don't keep one of those in the house. I thought maybe I had one laying around, but I don't have one laying around. So I had to Google uh, uh, NIV on a, on a computer. You know what I mean? So we're going to use that, and we're going to compare one text now this is surefire proof to for you to know if you have a satanic luciferian bible is you can compare this one text this one text and what you do is you go to isaiah 14 isaiah 14 now remember remember that i told you that luciferian bibles they take phrases that's meant for jesus and they'll put them as the devil and phrases that's meant for the devil, they'll put them as Christ. Now you go to Isaiah 14, and we're going to read verse 12. Isaiah 14, and we're going to read verse 12 out of the King James. This is old school King James. Isaiah 14, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken the nations? Bow. You hear how the... King James put it right. All right. Let's sit that right here. All right. I know this is budget bootleg. I'm, I'm gonna get better, y'all. I, I bought a camera. You know, I work so much and I study. I study, study so much that I'm gonna figure out how to use the camera because I've had the camera for a couple weeks now and I still haven't put it to use. But this is budget bootleg, but it's gonna work though. And as y'all can see on this laptop, I have passage results for Isaiah 14. NIV New International Version 2011 just so y'all see and I'm gonna read I'm gonna read from it now y'all heard what Isaiah I'm gonna read the King James one more time Isaiah 14 12 how art thou fallen from heaven O Lucifer son of the morning we'll stop right there now let's check what how NIV how it reads on the New International Version Oh yeah, and in the Satanic Bibles, they take Lucifer pretty much out of there. They don't put Lucifer in there. You know what I mean? Now let's read it. New International Version, NIV. One more time. 
Okay, I gotta scroll down to the verse. Let's scroll down to the verse. Let's see here. All right. NIV, New International Version. All right, all right. That's enough of that. Y'all aren't foolish. Let's get to it. Let's see what this says. How, how you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. You have been cast down to the earth. You who once laid low the nations. Now, Google it if you want to. Like, if you only got the King James... Remember, I said it's Isaiah 14, verse 12. Now, you see how you see how King James Version says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? This one says, How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. Took Lucifer's name completely out of there. Completely out of there. But then it did something else also. You see how it says morning star? King James was clearly talking about Lucifer. You see in New International, NIV, which is I use one of the most popular, popular Bible versions out. It's the NIV. And you see how it doesn't have Lucifer in there at all. And then it says morning star. Well, if you were reading this and you didn't know this and you were new to the Bible, who would you think the morning star referred to? Christ. Let's read Revelation 22. Revelation 22. Go to Revelations 22. And we're going to read verse 16. Revelation 22, verse 16. I, Jesus, have set mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. You see, Jesus said, I'm the morning star. But you see in the New International Version, in the NIV, for Isaiah 14, Isaiah 14, 12, it put the morning star in, in, in 14, 12. We clearly know from reading the King James, the King James, that that's, that verse is talking about Lucifer. Now you tell me, do you think that's a coincidence that they just took the morning star? Jesus said in Revelation 22, 16, I am the morning star. So in a verse that's talking about the devil, Lucifer, the New International Version puts the morning star and then takes the name Lucifer out. So people would subliminally think it was Christ. I am the watchman. The enemy is approaching the wall and he's pulling out all his guns. And I'm talking about... Use this with every standard version, any standard. My sister, it was some kind of standard American standard. She had just paid sixty dollars. My sister, who sings the Alabaster Box, on one of my videos, she she had, uh, she said, "Oh, I just bought this Bible, and this was about last summer. I just bought this. I love it. You know, it cost me sixty dollars. I love it. I can understand it." I said, "Let me give it the test." She said, "What you talking about?" I said, "Don't worry. I just want to check one verse." One verse. I went and I had to give it a sad face. I said, you have a satanic Bible. And some people might say, well, what's the big deal? Look, you do not want to read if you have one. Anything that's talking bad about Christ, you should not want to have in your possession if you love him. And if it is a satanic Bible, how are you going to get anything out of it if they've changed the verses? And you really don't know which verses and how many they've changed you know that but isaiah 14 12 is the surefire way to determine and to see if you have a luciferian or satanic bible compared to the king james y'all i know for, i personally know that the king james and the new king james are good all these other versions coming out as you saw with the niv throw them out the door y'all only if you truly love God. If you truly want to get something out your word, no matter how much you pay for it. You know, I love that about my sister. At first, she didn't throw it away. Then I just looked at her and I said, you still reading that satanic, that sat satanic Bible? And her conscience hit her. Like, yeah, this Bible is talking bad about Christ. And if I love Christ, I don't want to have something in my house 
is talking bad about them. See how they put the NIV put Christ in a verse talking about Satan. Hey y'all, I'm the watchman. I didn't even plan on doing this video. For real, I just got to work it out, but it was upon my heart. I was only gonna make it ten minutes long, or five minutes long, but I just do what our Father tell me to do. Take care, y'all. Test the spirits if they're of God. God bless.